If you're a smartphone user and on Facebook, this is something you ought to know about. If you've been using Facebook, you've probably already seen messages from Facebook forcing you to move to a messenger application if you want to stay in real-time touch with your friends. Hundreds of millions of people around the world have downloaded the new Facebook Messenger application, which has been, of course, around for some time to their phones, which works just like texting, like WhatsApp and other applications. Now, people who've added the app are realizing as a result of a series of reports that part of the terms and conditions they agree to when they download it lets it take over their devices, both smartphones as well as tablets, and the app doesn't even have to let you know it's doing that. But this isn't the entire story. There's another view on this entire issue. By downloading it, users give the application permission to call and text without numbers getting any consent. It can record audio with phone microphones at any time. And once the app is downloaded, it has permission to go through phone contacts. So this is a big scare with many tech journalists around the world saying this is the biggest privacy issue concerning Facebook ever. But there is another side which says that you don't need to be really scared about the Facebook Messenger and these are application permissions that are routine and have more to do with the restrictive Android platform and not Facebook itself. Well, the jury is still out there. It's a big fight in the technology space. So if you're downloading the Facebook Messenger as Facebook has made it imperative for you to do and compulsory in the next few days, it's important that you know what you're getting into.